it's been feel like a decade right i have not sat down to film in so long yikes i don't want to waste your time I know. so maybe you should make it mine well i should have been over an hour away supporting a friend at a performance but things had happened and now i'm at home or i'm still at home and I'm not mad about it, to be honest with you. Um, gives me time to talk to you guys. But um, I went, changed my outfit because I was looking real cute, really giving the girls what need to be gave. And I got me my favorite little cheat meal that I really shouldn't be having because I was just complaining about pimples. But whatever. <laughs> it's rat toes, if you know, you know. But they're from Razoo's, this restaurant. Um, I don't know if it's global. I just know these rat toes... It is fried, it's a fried jalapeno. Well, this just goody crab and every other whatever goodness in it. It's so good. Y'all, why is like the unhealthy food like the best food? Mm. Ooh. got a little kick too okay let me sit that down so i'm not just oh my gosh should i get oil on my pants i really hope so because i hope not because these are like my favorite workout pants anywho anywho <laughs> okay y'all so the quality of this video might not even be the most pristine i didn't really care about quality today i just felt the need while driving back home and getting my food to film because I have not filmed in so long. I have been so just preoccupied and overwhelmed by life these last two months. And I just want to update you guys and talk to you guys real quick. This won't be a long video, but you know, a good re-entrance back into uploading and the regularness of me uploading on YouTube. So I just want to say I hope you guys have been well. If you're still watching this video on Rock With Me, thank you so much. I know, I know, I need to really be more consistent. And I actually was doing really well. I really was enjoying it. But then again, life, but life be happening to everybody. I just need to keep on with the path. 2024 for me has been a very like up and down year. The best way I can describe it, and I was thinking of the best way I could describe it while driving. It's like... I am submerged in water, aka just everything and kind of overwhelmed, but then I'm above it. Like I'm able to like catch glimpse of like air. You know what I mean? Like if did that make sense? Like I'm submerged in water, but I have moments and great moments where I can just get up and get air and see just everything, you know? I hope that made sense. That was so like an artsy way of saying what I'm trying to say, but I feel like the first month, I felt the first month was cool. Like I recently, in my last video, my last video I posted on here is me graduating. So I graduated, um, I was starting my new job. <sighs> Let's just go into that. My job right now is honestly just taking everything out of me. I am working with teenagers five days a week, dealing with different behavioral and learning challenges different temperaments I'm having to you know combat not knowing what I'm gonna get on e any day so it's just like a lot sometimes I'm gonna be so honest with you this job is not ideal for me and it's definitely gave me the understanding that I do not <laughs> want to continue working in education at least to this capacity like with the position I'm in right now um but I am grateful to have a job. I'm grateful to be able to utilize my social work background and also for this job to help me in progressing in other jobs to just see that I have these skill sets and I work with this population, da da da. So that's work. Um, I will say on the bright side, I have really dope coworkers. They're all women, um, all older than me. So every day I'm learning, I'm laughing. Um, and they're just good people that really have embraced me in and I've only been working there for about three months now. So 
um it's like a little family we have our own little classroom because we're paraprofessionals and our age you can call us call me and um i got my little desk set up if i find um a picture or a video i have i'll insert it here but i made it my own because i will say when i first started working there i was so i was like a free agent honestly i just was floating in the school and this high school is so big it's like a freaking college campus it's so big for what i really don't understand why the high school is so big <laughs> it is huge y'all um but i was floating around so i just definitely felt out of place fish in new water which i hate that feeling but after i you know was introduced to these other professional paraprofessionals and that they all kind of you know just settle in this room which is one of the she's a she, i think she's a teacher um uh inclusion teacher but she has her own classroom and she has welcomed us in there i mean it's so cool y'all we have lights around the room it's usually dark in there it's real zen it's like our quiet space it's our quiet space our quiet space so yeah um okay what else can i talk about so that's what's that that's what's been happening with that <laughs> school so i am i did get um accepted to my graduate school so right now currently i'm working on getting into my first semester at the school registration starts on monday april 1st so i would definitely be kind of running ragged trying to get everything so i can register for my classes and start finally start this new few years of headaches pain and crying <laughs> but all for a purpose and a goal so i'm excited for that um and I am also kind of conflicted if I want to stay home or do I want to uproot to where my school is. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think it will be a really good idea for me to get out this little town. I definitely feel, I definitely feel just, this town has given me everything I needed. It's everything I'm gonna get out this town I got. So I definitely have outgrew this city. <laughs> It's been a great city to me, you know, growing up in a very diverse um, area. I've met some amazing, amazing people. I have an amazing tribe, not only in my city, but like the outskirts cities or the neighboring cities too. I just feel like I have went everywhere I needed to go and I'm ready to venture out. But I also am trying to play my cards smart because I don't want to, first off, this economy. And second off, it's like, if I don't need to put myself in a whole may that be mentally financially physically um spiritually i don't want to have to so i'm trying to just play my cards right um and just see how that all goes so we're trying to get that together um but all that to say yeah so you know getting into the school and considering if i want to go and move and kind of just dip my foot in a whole new pond um which will also mean i need to move out there get a job out there so i have been i've been working y'all like behind the scenes i've been working speaking of venturing out i last month went to la for an amazing opportunity that i'm just so excited i can't say anything now it's hush hush i definitely signed a contract but when i'm able to share that and just what i'm hoping comes out of that i'm hoping for just the freaking best that was a dope experience um that i will definitely be locking into my memory of my life bank so that's very cool yeah that was a very cool experience i went with my dad too so that was a good bonding moment for us very quick two days but it was a lot of you know moving and da 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 but it really made me realize like that's what i want to do and I just need to put myself in positions, continue taking leaps of faith and doing what I'm called to do. My path is pathing. Like it's definitely a route that I should continue going down. Not only that y'all, but I'll be modeling in a show for a very big stylist. Um, I, that day was honestly so much for me like everything that could go wrong did but i made it and not only did i make it but out of over 700 models i was picked to walk a runway show booyah per she is her <laughs> really emotional for my mom too and it just 
even had her call me and just say you are on the right path continue doing that and my dad was just proud my granny my friends were like yes 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 and i was like yo per 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 we going places we going places um and speaking of friends 2024 let's just wrote friends and relationships all in one because for me it's just all connection i'm just realizing as a person like me as jordan i care so much I invest so much and I'm so emotionally invested into my relationships. Like when I care about you, when I love you, when I've built that connection, not only like, when I've built that emotional connection, let me just say, it it, it really makes me want to like make makes me want to be there makes me want to protect you makes me want to do anything and that I can in my power to make sure that you're good and I'm just realizing that my granny said something that was really like oh but she said you need to stop attaching or being uh, getting so invested so quickly and that is a flaw of mine I you know when I just see potential when I think about the time I've spent with this person if it says it's been long or short I really put in like, I, I just consider all that and that's why I just stay in the places I'm in. But I just realized um, in harsh ways that I'm doing myself a disservice, my feelings are getting hurt and I should stop. And therapy is just definitely th therapying me. <laughs> and um, you know, even like right now recently, I'm kind of going through like a little like moment, but I'm bouncing back. Like I'm young and fine. Like we're not about to keep wasting time. So I just feel like I'm realizing more this year and maybe because I'm getting older y'all, like this grown adult thing is really like happening. But I'm realizing like I have dope people in my life, especially the two dopest people in my life, which is my parents. And that they really care, really ride for me and have shown me what I've deserved since I was younger. So it's just like, I'm really appreciative for them. And also like me and my brother, like we always been like close, but I feel like him getting into his adulthood and him just growing up in his own manhood, I feel like just seeing him grow up and us getting closer, that's cool because that's a bond. Like we forever for lifers. Like when mom and dad are here, we together, like, come on. And speaking on adulting, it's been kicking my booty okay like this butt is getting a big by the day because all the weight i'm having a hold <laughs> i swear when i walk i feel something i might have been joking with y'all i think i'm putting on a little weight y'all please don't let me get thick out here yeah i this adulting one another thing i'm realizing and my mom also just blatantly told to me i'm gonna have to do jobs be around people live in places do things that I don't want to do while I'm preparing and um, elevating in my life. So I'm definitely like in places doing things I don't want to be doing. But to get where I want to get to, I'm going to have to do it. Like other adults who had to sacrifice their happiness and convenience and comfort. So <laughs> and wants. So that's like been a hard lesson because I mean, as a youngin, like a lot of us, we usually, like, if we don't want to be anywhere, we can leave. If we're done, we can go. If we're not with it, we don't have to be in it. But it's like, no, but I got bills and I got, like, obligations and I got responsibilities. So, like, I can't just dip out because I don't want to be there. It's like, it's, girl, girl. So, yeah. Um, What else can I update you guys on? I guess the last thing is I'm, I'm back. Like, I really have missed filming. I have not been in my creative bag. I would say, like, all of March. It's just been so much I've been dealing with mentally. And if you guys have, like, been on this channel, you guys know, like, me and my mental, we go through, like, ups, downs, downs, and ups, circles, and turns. And this month was definitely a month for me. Um, that I was just going through it and I don't feel like I have been as creative as I wanted to be, at least on social media. Like music wise, 
I'm doing that all the time, but putting that out and putting myself out there, I want to get back into that and like liking social media and <laughs> not feeling this pressure and not putting so much pressure on myself with social media. So just hang in with me, y'all. And if you're still here with me, I really appreciate you guys. So yeah, y'all, that was my little life update. I was going to eat, but I can't even talk. I'm not one of them. I can't do a month thing. I'm not one of them people, but ooh, I'm only about to spill my water. But yeah, y'all. I will see you in the next upload. I haven't said that in so long. Ah, bye.